குட் மார்னிங் வணக்கம் இன்னைக்கு நம்ம என்ன பார்க்க போறோம் அப்படின்னா தெர்மோடைனமிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஓப்பன் சிஸ்டம் அதாவது தெர்மோடைனமிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் சோஃபா வி ஹவ் ஸ்டடி தி தெர்மோடைனமிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் க்ளோஸ்ட் சிஸ்டம் இப்போ வாட் இஸ் கால்டு ஓப்பன் சிஸ்டம் அப்படிங்கிறத பார்க்க போறோம் அடுத்து வந்து நம்ம பார்த்தீங்கன்னா வாட் இஸ் பார்ஷியல் மோலார் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி வாட் இஸ் கெமிக்கல் பொட்டன்சியல் அடுத்து வந்து டெரைவ் the kips duham equation romba mukkiyamaanadhu kips duham equation idhu vandu kips adsorption isotherm la nam indha equation nam use pannirukom neenga idha paathinga na adhu romba easy ah puriyum first vandu nam what is called an open system open system na endu it is a thermodynamic system which exchanges both matter and energy adhavu matter um energy um exchange pannum closed system na endu it exchanges only energy with the surroundings okay isolated system na it exchanges neither energy nor matter with the surrounding the system and the surroundings oda endha vidha idu irukkad isolated system and a open system na it exchanges both matter and the energy with the surrounding now let us consider a thermodynamic function thermodynamic state function enna la namalukku entropy enthalpy free energy uh, hips helmholtz function if let us consider a thermodynamic function x equal to x is a function of for open system if you pass over for open system the thermodynamic state function is a function of temperature pressure and the number of moles of various components present in the system for example n1 number of moles of component 1 n2 number of moles of component 2 in the system so there will be i therefore the total number of moles equal to number of moles of component 1 plus number of moles of component 2 etc etc and then up to n n okay now for small change in the for small change in the temperature pressure uh, n1 n2 now the variables there are several variables okay the thermodynamic function depends on the above variables ipo nam enna seiyrumna for a small change in the variable temperature pressure n1 n2 etc the exact differential the exact differential is written as d the dl equal to for exact differential ki indha maari nam eludalam nam yetrave euler relation la nam paathirukom paarunga da dl equal to do x by do t at constant pressure number of moles number m1 n2 etc up to n9 okay plus uh, dt plus variation of this property with respect to pressure with respect to change in pressure the variation of thermodynamic function with respect to change in pressure at constant temperature m1 n2 etc dp this dp dp cancel similarly do x by do n1 dn1 plus etc okay now this property this property for example this property do x by do n i at constant temperature pressure and m1 n2 n3 etc is equal to x i this is called partial molar property what is partial molar property do x by do n i at constant temperature pressure m1 n2 plus plus etc n n j okay equal to x i this is called partial molar property ipo ninga vandu pathina idu vandu ipo x ku badala internal energy nu porom x is a thermodynamic function any thermodynamic function x ku badala nama do u change in internal energy change in internal energy with respect to change in number of moles of ith component ith component this gives the partial molar internal energy similarly partial molar volume partial molar volume nu endu volume do v by do n i equal to v i bar okay idhe enna pathina partial molar free energy partial molar free energy is also called chemical potential romba mukkiyamaanadhu chemical potential la adikadi msc pg level la nam padithom so for what is partial molar free energy it is nothing but chemical potential of the component chemical potential of the component i ipo nam vandu the various of free energy with respect to change in the number of particular mole i at constant temperature gi that is called mu i okay 
Now, what is chemical potential? What is chemical potential? This is a change in free energy. This is a free energy. Change in free energy. Well, addition of one mole of one mole. Now, divided by one mole, now we one mole. Now, change in free energy. Well, addition of one mole of Ni component. Ni component at constant temperature, pressure, N1, N2, etc. Okay, this is nothing but chemical potential. Now, at constant, upon my view, the free energy law. That means, okay, now when the expression at dg, uh, the expression of the dg will be given. At constant temperature and pressure, you know, the constant temperature and pressure, and the term is dt equal to 0, dt is the term 0 by no. Upon dg, if you bagra the minus here, at constant temperature and pressure, dg equal to, about dou, equal to dou g by dou n, you know, mu 1 and dn 1 will go. Add it to the other, mu 2, this is the chemical potential of component 1, this is the chemical potential of component 2, about mu 1, d n 1 plus mu 2 d n 2 plus uh, the dot dot mu y d n 9 also. let us call this equation as 3 if you want to know for a for fixed composition for definite composition it will change in if there is any change in number of moles if you want to know there is no change in number of moles for fixed concentration or composition if you want to change the other g equal to there is no change in g also mu 1 n 1 plus mu 2 n2 plus uh, dot dot for okay now let us say for one mole of pure gas if one is at it now one mole of pure gas at it right up mu1 g equal to that for the mu1 also one, one mole of you know, number of moles pure component one is at it for you plus mu2 mu2 will go into number of pure gas where this is zero number of com, number of moles of um, component two is zero you know you can G is equal to mu. So for one mole of pure component, the chemical potential is equal to free energy. It's free energy. Now let us derive Kipps Dugam equation. If you if you in the base panina in the derive part now, if you want to for fixed definite composition, the free energy is equal to G equal to mu1 n1 away the expression and mu2 n2 plus mu3 uh, n3 dot dot and we go. If you want to let us differentiate, let us take the differential of free energy. The differential of free energy is written as dg, the variable row. Upon then the mu1 are constant, I will say the dn1. Let us mu1 um, is constant, differentiate d1. And if the n1 are constant, I will say mu d mu2. I will say the other thing you can do is that I will say the other thing you can do. If let us compare 5 equal to, if you want to find the expert 5 ohm, 5 ohm, 5 ohm, 3 ohm, 5 ohm, 3, sorry, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, 3 ohm, you know, 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 Upon the inner mixture, n1 d mu1, n2 mu2 is the argument to be low, and equal to the cancel. I know, right? I'll have to say upon the n1 mu d1 plus n2 mu d mu2 plus dot dot equal to 0. You know, I know that equal to the term upon the term of 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 the term is a summation of Ni d mu i equal to 0 can be mathematically represented as summation ok if you want to do this for two components let us apply for two components the two components to apply for n1 d mu1 plus n2 d mu2 equal to 0 if you want to do d mu1 equal to n1 if you want to do n1 if you want to do n1 minus n2 by n1 d mu2 if you want to do n1 इस रण में हमारे various नहीं इस रण में हमारे various नहीं पड़े various नहीं chemical potential of component one है very बंद हो इधर affect है इस बार में ये change है so affects the mu two various नहीं mu one affects the mu two if d mu one बंद है positive बार में जिधर d mu two बंद है बार में negative बार में ये जो positive बार में था for increasing mu one नमो mu one increase पन्नो 
அப்போ இது பாசிட்டிவா இருக்கும் The chemical. ஆனா இது பாத்தீங்கன்னா நெகட்டிவா இருக்கும் அப்படின்னா என்ன இருக்கும் என்ன ஆகும் நியூட்டு வந்து குறைஞ்சா தான் அது ஈக்குவல் பண்ண முடியும் அப்படிங்கிறது நம்மளுக்கு வருது ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் வாட்சிங் நன்றி